So today I went to the store for my brats, right, and me. Um, bought the chicken. It was on sale. Normal price was like six seventy six a pack. They had it on sale for sixty seven cents a pound, more than half off. Nothing expired. All fresh product. Kind of frozen a little bit. So the packs were like almost five, four and a half pounds. What three dollars and eight cents to some bigger ones. So I got. 49 pounds something so 50 pounds of chicken legs and thighs thighs were hella meaty legs were jumbo but i couldn't find any more jumbo legs there are lots of meat and the smaller bone i like feeding them both but thighs is a really good treat because mostly all meat one little bone in the middle then i got pork so fresh pork lion sirloins right at 97 cents a pound almost 11 pounds 10.50 got two packs so we did that. So 50 pounds here, 22 pounds here. So 22 pounds of pork, 20, and all this was less than what? 60 bucks, less than 60 bucks for everything. So that's the math I did. Um, so this is more than enough for a whole month of food. But I love pork, I love chicken, so I ate some of it, I removed it and replaced it. So pork chops, I'm gonna do some pork chops today. There's their sirloin cuts, pork uh, lion cuts, so they're perfectly. This is more like a treat because basically it's all meat, no bone. So you can introduce half and half, mix whatever you want. Right now, I'm gonna leave these in good packs because if I free freeze them like this, they eat about three pounds each uh, a day. I mean, three pounds per both a day. So, I'll freeze one of these, it's almost like five pounds, it's more than enough to feed them one day, and then I'll replace the rest of the food with veggies. So, they still get um, their two pounds, or 1.4 1, 1. pounds for the smaller one, the 67 pounds, and 1.8 or 1.9 pounds for the big one. So, about two and a pound, two pounds and a half, two pounds and point three. So, that's just should be enough for two days here, easy. So, I'll put this downstairs, down the refrigerator. Always keep at least three days worth of food in the refrigerator for them. Everything else gets frozen. Once you eat one of these, half of it, for one day, you pull out the other one because it takes three days to four days to thaw out. So you use one of these, you better have already one or two out of these in the refrigerator thawing out. Thaw them the same way you would do, you would for yourself because you want the hygiene and health to be priority. So I just got home from the store. And this is how I make sure they get the right portions for the day. Uh, just to extend the budget, I got this scale. So I put it at zero. Well, almost zero because the plate. There's a zero. One egg, a jumbo chicken egg. These are a little bit partially frozen. Why I give them to them like this? They'll chew it. So. As 1.1 pound, right? I did my pork. So, 1.11, half a pound. Well, a little bit more than half a pound. So there's a plate perfectly for kilos, for the smaller dog. So, this will be Kilo's plate. Now we're doing Demon's plate. Demon gets almost two pounds exactly because he's a bigger, bigger, 94 pounder. So we got not even a pound there. Oh, looks like he's gonna get three eggs on a pork chop. Oh, that's two pounds. I give and take this enough. I can take the leg off. Hold the same way. Oh, kind of cool. He's a bigger dog. You can get another piece. So this, um, I throw our tomatoes in it. Diced up tomatoes. They love them. Um, carrots. So let me show you. There's kilos. Demon. They're all impatient. Hey guys, wait. Got 25 pound horse carrots. I have to peel these because they're non organic. So, these are perfect for them. So, 
Now let me add some water to the knife and get this going. Why add water? Because they tend to bring more water if it tastes like chicken. So, right here is demon. I don't have too much water. Hey, Kilo, stop it. Demon, stop it. Sorry, I am have that bag, so I'm limping and crazy with one crutch. So. This is Kilos. Come on, Kilos. Choose and break the carrot down. And over there, kilos, powder almost almost already done with this here. I give them tap water. The tap water here in my house. You can see I'm still working on this place under construction. It's actually filter water. It goes to the whole house filter. Then the reverse osmosis. So even the toilet water is bottled water quality. So I have a reverse mostly a seven stage filter on the side, so I'll give them water at that. But I'm gonna mix it up with the chicken anyways. They're fine like this. So even if I feed them on the plate, they're gonna be this. See how demon chews everything? Over there. Yeah, that's him, all his sounds in glory. That's the pork chop. Or the chicken, which one is it? So that's the pork chop. The only problem with him is that he's a steve eater. That means he ate everything already. Now he's drinking the bloody water that he loves. And that's good because he needs that water to take that food down. So these are all the carrots I have, 25 pounds, fresh carrots. So I need to peel these because they're not organic. So here's Sam and Jimmy Pork Chop. Remember, dogs have a shorter track, so they can handle more raw products. You see why I leave it whole? I leave it whole for them so they can chew it. If I dice it up, they will swallow it and gulp it and not enjoy it. This way? See, he still swallowed the whole shit. But at least he was able to shoot it a little bit. And here comes Kilo. Almost too bad, right? And he wants more. Oh, he knows what those carrots are. Ah, Kilos, off the counter. Kilos, 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 listening? Good boy. Good boy, Kilos. Good boy, do the chubby one. No, Kilos. That's Demon's plate. He's bigger than you. Almost 30 pounds bigger than you. So he needs that extra leg. Oh, you see him? He's trying to rush now because Kilos is free. And you know Kilos will try to steal his food. He's trying to sneak out under my leg to take his food. And this bastard will keep on eating, eating, and eating. I don't know if you guys saw the video or a picture of him eating so much food that um, he couldn't move for like almost a day and a half. So, there it goes. Goes to the last day. Good boy, Demon. Demon's one of my pickest, pick, pickest, pickiest eaters. Bought him the best food, blue buffaloes, organics. I had to rotate him between foods all the time. Not the same dishes because he will be so picky, he'll get bored. If I fed him the same food for a month, I would get bored too. So I had to rotate him every few days, change it, mix it up, and introduce a lot of veggies. So, there's Demon out drinking his water, hopefully. Sometimes he doesn't. This bastard is like rushing for the water. 
but I have to hold them back. So this is my daily lunch routine. Right now I would like peel some carrots and give them some food, but I gave them a lot of food right now. Protein, so I'll wait a little bit, then feed them later some snacks. And I have to go lay down. So there's the feeding ritual for the doggies.